All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is 10 rounds. It's okay. Tonight we have a guy who throws the uppercut. Standing against a guy who has to really be conscious of his defensive posture against it. Yeah, the main thing, don't keep your head right in the middle. Get your head on the side a little bit. If you leave it in the middle, you're in the exact zone that the man with the uppercut wants you to be in. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Judah. Nice strike after catching one by Roberto Duran. Duran's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Judah. Wow, is he defensively sound. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Roberto Duran. Hands of stone with a rock full of right hand. Blocks that punch. He just missed that shot up top. And he ties up on the inside. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Roberto Duran. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Scores up top with a left. And he's marking that target right above the belt line. And this round comes to an end. Judah is getting hit too much. I mean, it's as simple as that, Teddy. He, he comes back after that round. And he just got popped a lot. Yeah, well, right now he's got to find a way to get away from some of those punches. But there's a problem, a big problem, like with anything else. How are you going to start changing it if you haven't been taught differently? I don't know that he knows the answer. Scores with the combo to the head. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Here's a moment here as you see the setback counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Roberto Duran scoring with one of the most effective punches there is, landing an uppercut on the inside. Well, it's the right punch for the right place. The hands up of his opponent, but there's an opening right up that middle, split the guard, and the punch is the uppercut. That's the ticket, and he's going with it. A crushing two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Hands up, hands up. Judah's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Oh, and they decide to trade there. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. That's okay, that's okay. Let's go, let's go. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Judah. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. And a strong offensive showcase. The combination by Roberto Duran. Duran's corner's got to be happy about that last round. Go out and fight this guy. And round number three is underway. Roberto Duran's able to land the hook on the inside. Is there anything he should be careful of, though, Teddy, on the inside like that? Ripping off the power punch. Yeah, one of them is, and I just saw it a moment ago, he better not admire his work. He throws that punch, and he's looking to see the effect. He might find out the effect on the other side. The guy come right back and catch him. That's a nice combination. Left hook to the body, right hand. Now 
hugging on the inside. Duran counters back. You got this all day, all day. Each man able to land an uppercut. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Judah. Oh, what an exchange. Solid left hand to the head. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate One, price. Two, three, four, five. Zap Judas back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. And he's holding. He's still not Stop. moving. Come on. Nice. Nice. Getting the best of it. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy at it. Well, with three rounds complete here, it's worth a look at Teddy's scorecard to see where he sees it. Protecting his head well with his guard. Zab Jude is like a piece of Velcro against his opponent recently here. He seems like he's clinching more after that knockdown. Yeah, that's exactly what he has to do right now. Now he has to be able to just get past this little bit. It's kind of like being in a bad rapids. You know, you're going down those waterfalls. You better be in a canoe. You better be in something. This is his canoe. This is his raft. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Duran's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Hey, get out of there. You got to see that coming, Jim. Let's go. You got to see that. Very accurate two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Roberto Duran's left now getting into the mix. What an excellent two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. Unable to score with the hook. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, solid. That's a great shot right there. Zab Judah goes down. What a great shot by his opponent. Um. fight. Duran's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner.